tell me about how the white guitar came about. Um, it initially started as the brainchild of Nina's husband, Tom McCrory, and my brother, who was a student of his at Tokakati, I believe. Yes. Um, I think Tom read my dad's book, um, A Boy Called Broke, which my brother gave to him as a gift. Yes. And Tom read it, and I think he visualized or he could foresee it being a great um, piece of art for the stage. And in discussions with my brother, because it was intentionally supposed to be a one-man show. No, it right? that's right, it was going to be, yeah. Yeah, and I think Tom suggested the idea of getting myself and my dad involved. And that's how the conversation sort of started, really. Yeah, and um, the, you know, and thinking about where the you know boy called broke, where it went to at that time, and then thinking how to then take it forward to right to today. So it's a really you know family generational story. So that's sort of where the core idea came from, way way back um, many years ago. So it's something that's built up through a lot of discussion and um, trust over real time, and Jim Moriarty being involved going way back with. Um, Moana, so. so it was a really a natural growth from an idea, you know, and nothing was forced. Um, it was a really organic um, baby that has grown into this giant called the white guitar, which mm. we are trying to hang on for dear life. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we didn't know how we were going to tell the story, you know, and in mm. what style. So, I mean, all of the elements of things were to do with, you know, how do you work with um, a family? How do you work with people that very different skill bases? And so um, the, the, the tying in of all the different styles is what makes it, um, as well as it being a brilliant, true story, um, you know, a brilliant piece of work. And tell me about how, how it has been being performed by the family members actually in the, you know, in the story, not by actors. Um, I think that's the unique part about it. I think that's the thing that really attracts, um, you know, people don't want to come and see it because um, it's such a unique thing. You'll never find another father and two sons on stage doing theatre playing themselves. <laughs> Seems and you know so playing char all the characters characters from um back in time from when yep. Fatmoana was a child and uh, matthias and marlo playing those characters so it's um you know it snapshots into a whole arc of um arc of their lives which makes it it is it is it's a very very unique thing to go to a piece of theater and um, people are telling their own story. It's not okay. I'll put. I'll play my character now. Um, so that blended with, um, you know, blended with all the different styles of storytelling and music and AV and um, and ma magical moments is, is how it's all woven together. And because of the nature of the story, um, you know, us being a family, um, yeah, and and the conch being a family, you know, was integral because a lot of trust has to come in there and, and having Tom and Nina there um, building that trust with us um, allowed us and gave us the space to um, really open up with with what we wanted to share and, and how far we wanted to share it and how deep into the darkness we wanted to go because you can only do that stuff in a safe environment you know so um, I think that being a family story and having a family um, help us put it together is, um, is one of the uh, but this is the magic behind it being such a, um, an affecting piece of theatre, I believe. That sold out in Wellington and Christchurch last year. It yeah. certainly did. It did. It did two sold out seasons. And I mean, I've made a lot of theatre shows in my time, but I've never worked on something that has had 13 standing ovations. And um, and that's that's momentum for you. That's a, that's, a, that's a sign when something, I mean, you know, you know when you're running with a winner. And, um, and the momentum of it being invited all around the country, coming up to Auckland, is um, it's a privilege to go and share it with all the different communities in New Zealand that will really relate to the story. And I was really relieved yeah. when it sold out because I think for a second there it was like, oh, well, people want to come and see this, you know, like just because of who I am as a musician, it was really scary to step into this other arena and, and put myself on the line like, um, I don't know, because, because of the stuff that we're sharing, it, it, it was scary for me. And then um, 
yeah, like when the tickets weren't selling at first, it was a little bit of a hairy moment, but then, yeah, it was quite beautiful how all of a sudden the ball just started rolling and, and I felt the excitement I felt when I first dropped the Crusader, like my album, and like, you know, there's that, there's that, that time of doubt. You know, as an artist, you make something and you doubt it and you, you pick it apart and you're just like, oh, this is shit. Um, and then just to get that reward of it, of it taking on its own life and, and people loving it for what it is, um, is one of the most bloody rewarding things. And I so, mean, it's risk, isn't it? You know, when you risk yourself and you risk yourself as an artist and then you're, you're taking that risk to actually play your own story, it is uh, frightening because you know you don't want rejection you don't want you want to know people come through the door so um having that and more and people clamoring to come and uh, is um it's a wonderful thing and it's a good you know i think we'll be really ready for auckland having done two seasons listening to the story itself um editing it a little bit working out where you can tweak things so it's really ready for you know to, to bring up here and and the fact that the story um, starts off in Samoa in the 40s and then it comes to, and it's, you know, Whamuana coming to Auckland in the 50s. And, um, and the, the heart of the beginning of the story being in Auckland, it will be really fascinating for Aucklanders. Yeah, and that's what makes it special about doing Auckland, is the fact that my dad is from here. I've lived here um, and the story really started, started here, so um, that's what, um, gives this season a bit of a bit of extra magic really and I think we all feel a little bit of like um we really want to bring it. We really wanna um um do it justice. And then we're excited and, and scared at the same time.